I'm very excited to, to come to you and to look at our 42nd program on Patmos Studio. And this is going to be a very special program on the anointing. And today we are just going to pray. We're going to pray and ask God to begin to touch you from the beginning. And so I want to pray for His presence to come upon you. I want to pray for you just to open yourself up and to allow God to come and do what He wants to do this morning. Hallelujah. You know, we, we spoke about being taught by the Spirit. And we, we spoke about flowing in the Spirit. And so that's what I want to do on this program. And just where you are, I want you just to lift up your hands. And I want you just to forget about me. And I want you to focus on God. And to remember the price that Jesus paid on the cross for you. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you so much, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for what you've done on the cross. Thank you, Lord, that you have qualified us, Lord. And thank you that right now we can, with an overwhelming joy and an absolute acceptance, Lord, we can receive what Jesus has paid for us. And we can declare, I am qualified. Hallelujah. Yes, you are qualified. Thank you, Jesus. And so, Father, I pray, Lord, even as we begin to realize we are qualified, that we will not go into a place of performance. The Holy Spirit shows me that people want to go into a place of performance. And when we begin to perform, we are actually cutting ourselves off from God. There's a scripture in the Bible that says, Not by might, nor by power, but by my Spirit. Hallelujah. And so God wants to flow through you, but not by your effort. Hallelujah. We're going to look a lot at coming to, into that place where there's no effort that we're going to make. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for prophetically already speaking to us about what is coming. I don't know why, but God is just speaking to me very strongly this morning suddenly about trauma. And he's saying to me, I want to heal your trauma. There's a lot of trauma that people have gone through in life. And trauma can make us feel like, why am I going through this kind of stuff? Why am I suffering like I'm suffering? And uh, we, we don't understand our circumstances. And that causes us to kind of turn away from God. And the devil has got a right now to cut us off from God. But God's anointing, which is in His love, hallelujah, God's love for you wants to come and break through that heart of stone, wants to come and break through those shields, wants to come and break through those veils and reveal to you that He loves you. You know, the, the Spirit of God flows always to the point of least resistance. And if there's a place in your heart where you are open to receive God's love, God's love will flow there. But if you close your heart to His love, then God's love will not be able to flow there. God's love also flows to those who are humble, those who humble themselves. Hallelujah. God's love flows to those who have faith and who believe. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Father. Yes, Lord. May your presence touch those in a powerful way. You know, as you lift up your hands, my hands are, are burning like fire right now as I lift up my hands. And you will begin to sometimes sense a tingling of His presence that you are feeling. And don't underestimate every little bit of experience that your body goes through. Um, maybe you think, well, this is just something that I'm feeling. But God says, no, something is happening. And there's a breakthrough in the Spirit happening. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Father. And He says to me, you are qualified. He says, every bloodline curse has been broken. I'm just saying that now because the Spirit of God is telling me to say this. Thank you, Jesus. He says, every bloodline curse has been broken. I've made you a new man. Hallelujah. So no curse can hold you back from God anymore. The anointing has broken every curse. 
Jesus said, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because He has anointed me to preach the good news to the poor, to heal the brokenhearted, and to set the captives free. Hallelujah. So the Spirit of God is upon me right now, and He comes upon you right now as you are listening. I just feel a little bit of a tingling running down my back. And that's like the, the mantle of prophecy. Thank you, Jesus. And God wants to come and He wants to activate people in, in the prophetic. He wants to begin to open your spiritual eyes that you can see through the anointing. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Mm -hmm. We worship you, Jesus. Yes, Lord, we worship you, Lord. We exalt your name, Father. Yes, Lord, I, I just feel the, 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 the power of God for healing is available right now. And God is saying, I'm also releasing that anointing for healing in Jesus' name. Where people will begin to flow in a very natural way in the gift and the anointing of healing. And God's going to begin to teach you more and more about healing. You know, when I begin to zoom in on something, the Holy Spirit will begin to teach me in that direction. Right now, I'm praying about understanding more about the end times. And God's already given me dreams. He's already given me visions because I'm focused, because I'm faithful with what He's busy talking to me about. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, just praise God. Just praise Him as you receive. You see, if, if you're in a qualified position, then it means you can just receive. You are already qualified. You don't have to perform before God, and you can just receive what He has already done for you. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Wow. Um, I really hope that has helped you a little bit. We're going to go into much more detail as we're going to learn more to get all these strongholds that the Holy Spirit has shown us today out of the way. We're going to break them. The Word of God is going to set you free and bring you into an effortless place where the anointing can flow in your life and where streams of living water will bubble up from your inmost being and it will lead to eternal life, Jesus says. Hallelujah. God bless you. Um, if you want to come and, and follow us, come, come to Patmore Studio. Uh, you can also come to our Telegram channel uh, called Morning Star at Patmore Studio. And there you can go back and you can follow all the programs and keep up to date with what's coming on, the, the newest program that's coming on. Hallelujah. God bless you. Amen. <music>